Hi guys, my name's Casper and I'm here to take a look at the wolf of Valdemar Strait, the man who comes alive on a full moon as Brackus the Shifter. His first skill, Innocent Blood, is a straight up, no pretenses attack. It doesn't have any fancy mechanics or debuffs, but it hits hard and it heals Brachus by 15% of the damage it inflicts. This is especially good if you pair Brachus up with champions or artifacts that let him counter attack. Next up, we have Full Moon Rampage. It's a single target attack that hits 6 times. That's right, 6 times! And this skill heals Brachus by 25% of the damage dealt. Better yet, if the target is under Fear or True Fear debuff, it'll heal by 50% of the damage. And here's the kicker, it also has a high chance of throwing a weakened debuff on the target, increasing the damage and the healing even further. If that's not enough, this skill is also on a 3 turn cooldown when fully skilled up, meaning a couple of lucky procs with a relentless set and it's available again. Talk about going all out. His last active skill is called Hunter's Howl and it synergizes nicely with Full Moon Rampage. First, it places a 50% increase attack on all allies, including Brachus, then hits a single target 3 times with a good chance of placing true fear on them. And if it does place true fear, then there's also a chance to place a normal fear debuff on 2 other enemies at random. Remember how the second skill heals Brachus by 50% of the damage done to champions under fear? Well, Brachus covers that by himself. Last on the list is Brachus' passive, Beast Mode. As the name suggests, it turns Brachus into a bit of a beast. His passive is split into two parts, an active effect, which has a cooldown, and an always on passive effect that doesn't have a cooldown. That always on effect is a huge damage increase across all of Brachus' attacks. If his HP drops below 40%, his damage actually increases by 40%. Brachus' first and second skill heal based on the damage inflicted, which makes him heal even more and gives him a lot of self sustain, which is incredibly useful, if the enemy survive his beefed up attacks that is. This part of his passive works well when Brachus is teamed up with champions that provide an unkillable buff so he can safely drop his HP to get the damage boost but be in no real danger. The second part of his passive, the active effect, has a long cooldown once it's activated, but it is worth it. It's an automatic self revive that brings Brachus back to life at 20% HP if he gets killed. It also gives him an extra turn straight away, meaning he gets a 40% damage boost and an immediate chance to attack an enemy and heal back up straight away. If only someone in Teleria had discovered silver bullets. All in all, Brachus is a hard hitter that, although he's not the toughest in terms of HP or defense, brings his own form of survivability through his skill synergy. But mostly, he's there to maul your enemies to death. He does pack a punch. Well, a bite. Load him up on masteries and like anyone, he gets even tougher. In terms of artifact builds, Brachus is flexible. You can kit him out with lifesteal to increase the amount of healing he does or you can try avenging or retaliation sets so he can counter attack and take advantage of his built in heal when he gets attacked or takes damage. Another good option, if you want to go all out DPS, you can try a relentless set. With that short cooldown on her skill 2, any extra turns he gets helps Brachus use his big nuke more often. Brachus has a lot of viable builds, but the bottom line is that he's a damage dealer and he's there to inflict pain. So, make sure you pick artifacts with primary stats that focus on maximizing that damage first and foremost. And that's it for our breakdown of the big dog. As always, thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, happy raiding.